What you mean how I feel about the hurricane? I'm mad. And then yesterday, I was sitting here, I'm not mad at you. You good. I ain't got a problem with you, but you asking me crazy questions. Let me show you something. I'm sitting there getting my hair done yesterday, right? This lady tell me I gotta go because the hurricane coming. I said, girl, we in Georgia. She made me leave with two rolls of braids. And then I went back to a shop and the whole shop gone. There's a tree on top of it. it the tree done squished the place down. What you mean how I feel about the hurricane? I'm mad. And then yesterday, I was sitting here, I'm not mad at you. You good. I ain't got a problem with you, but you asking me crazy questions. Let me show you something. I'm sitting there getting my hair done yesterday, right? This lady tell me I gotta go because the hurricane coming. I said, girl, we in Georgia. She made me leave with two rolls of braids. And then I went back to a shop and the whole shop gone. There's a tree on top of it. it the tree done squished the place down. What you Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. That is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is. Bahashim, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation. And that is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus a so called black man, all right? And Eve is more concerned about getting her hair done than about being judged. You see, Eve is more concerned about getting her hair done than being judged. All right. Here it is. This earthquake is coming and she concerned about getting her hair done and not having it complete. OK, that she had to leave out of the shop. Because of the warnings that they was given to that part of town that it should be best for them to leave that she had to leave out with two braids and come to find out that the shop that she was getting her hair done, a tree fell on top of it. All right. And that just goes to speak to our people, man. All right. It's just complete nonsense, man. They full of folly. OK, here it is. The most high is visiting this place and you more concerned about getting your hair done. All right. Ain't got no place to go. This place is finished. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 1. It reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. You see? And that's what we're doing. When we're being sober and vigilant, we're measuring the time diligently with this word, okay? We're seeing things that have never happened on this type of scale before, all right? And the fact that you worried about getting your hair done speaks volume of where your priorities are, all right? You would rather stay in that shop and get a tree landing on top of you than to leave and not have your hair done, all right? And that's the mindset and the sentiment of our people, man, okay? So it says, And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, verse 2, then shall I understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. So you see seeing things that showing you that the most high is getting ready to visit this place. OK, Babylon the Great. All right. And he's going to visit it by the way of his only begotten son, Yahweh with the rest of the angels in the chariots. All right. And you started getting yourself together, repenting. You worried about getting your hair done so you can go out and go wherever you got to go. All right. And had it been the day before or the day after, you would have been up under some rubble, some rubbish, a tree or whatever. OK, because why you want to sit and play the uh, the last minute game and see if you can get your hair done before what the hurricane come. Verse three. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, right? You know, and you can uh, put in uh, hurricanes with earthquakes too, man, because this hurricane was pretty astronomical, man. All right. I believe the last time and counting over 160 people perished, man. Floods, you know, haven't been seen since quite some time. All right. And even... It reached all the way up into the mountains up in North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Which they say that really ever happens. All right. 
Verse 4. Then shall thy well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So, hey, these things are already put into place to give you uh, indicators and signs that, hey, this is what you need to do. You need to get yourself together. You need to get your house in order, your affairs in order. OK, you need to be making sure you are uh, measuring the time diligently and living up to this word to the best of your ability. All right. Not worried about trying to get your hair done in the midst of a hurricane, you know, whether it directly impacted you or not. You need to a get get right, Eve, get right, Jake. OK, because time is running out. Contrary to what you believe, you don't got all day, man. OK, you keep pushing your luck. All right. So it says, verse five, for like as for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest. Right. We in the end. OK, we are in the end of this man's kingdom. OK, the most high is finna, you know, do something. OK, he's finna. Uh, he's finna he's finna do away with this man's kingdom. OK, Esau's kingdom, the so-called white man. All right. He's finna abolish it, okay? Esau is the end of this world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow him. So they get in your house in order and your affairs in order and, you know, being uh, remorseful and, and, and mourning, you out here trying to go out and worry about, you know, what you gonna do, okay? How I'm gonna get out? I don't, you know, hey, what more can I say, man? All right, you know, you know the mindset of our people, especially in this world, man. All right, the two thirds, hey, they just, <laughs> they just gotta ride it out, man, <laughs> and get it and, and, and learn and find out the hard way. All right, this is Second Ezra chapter sixteen, and let's go to verse. Eighteen, it says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine. And great death, okay? And these are the things that's at hand. These are the things that are right here at the at the front door. It says, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? You damn sure ain't supposed to be worried about getting the last bit of your hair done, okay? See, that type of mindset is going to get our people taken out during Jacob's trouble, man, all right? just gonna say it all right that's why hey be mindful of you know exactly what you doing okay and if you and if you think about you know because although it says uh seven women should take hold of one man you got to be mindful of the type of women that are going to present themselves during the time of calamity man all right because if you get one like this right here and you follow after this this type of you know this type of degenerate then what's going to happen? You're going to fall right into the same snare, okay? So that's why this truth is imperative to our salvation to understand exactly what's going on. Verse 19, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish, okay? That hurricane brought great anguish, man, and tribulation. It says, are sent as scourges for amendment, all right? You're supposed to look at yourself and think to yourself well damn man if something coming this you know uh this uh you know if something's coming this powerful to the magnitude of what it what it did i gotta make sure hey i don't get taken by and swept away with it because you could easily the next time another hurricane come it could come and hit your place directly and that tree could be on your place and you can wonder why okay because you didn't repent when the uh when the a uh, place for repentance was open. Okay. Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. You see? And that's the mindset of our people, man. As long as they can go out and have a good time and continue to, you know, uh, wallow in their folliness, they ain't worried about no uh, scourges. Okay. <laughs> they hard-headed, man. That's, a, that's the hallmark of a Jake, man. Hard-headed. Their head is hard as flint, adamant, all right? 
It says, nor be always mindful of the scourges, right? It didn't affect me, so, hey, I ain't worrying about it. And that's the mindset. See, Jake, you, you, you got to get ready before you have to be affected by it, okay? Because if that's the type of mindset you going into Jacob's trouble with, you're going to be <laughs> potentially one of the first ones that get get uh, marked with that uh, CHIP, that chip, okay? So verse 20 says, But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges, right? Because it didn't, it didn't directly affect you, okay? That wasn't your house that the tree fell down on, okay? And you can what? Go to another beauty salon and get your hair done, you see? But when it comes to your front door and it starts to affect you, then you're going to be like, oh, oh, Jesus, please help me. And we already seen in the past what happened when you call on Jesus, okay? <laughs> Satan shows up, all right? You see, so this is the time to what? Repent, turn from your wicked ways, and seek Yahweh while he may be found, all right? Let's bring this out. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7, okay? Because you don't want to keep waiting to the last minute. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. All right. See, you got a you got a second chance because you easily could have got that. Went back to that. Uh, if the lady listened to you and kept everything open and told you to come back the next day or later on that day, that tree could have easily been on top of you. So it says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day, right? You don't know when your your time is going to be up. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy and in thy security, when you think you you know safe in your bed, what what happened? A tree will come right through your right through your roof, man. It says, and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed when you least expect it. And perish in the day of vengeance, right? And those missiles is gonna come, man, because those missiles are reserved for judgment, okay? Thus save the Lord, okay? Those missiles are reserved for judgment, man, for the wicked, okay? For the wicked, for the day of the wicked. I believe that's uh is it Malachi? Malachi 4 and 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Right. So the day is coming, whether you believe it or not. And it says, And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Those missiles are going to turn y'all proud individuals into stubble. It says, And the day that cometh shall burn them up, up, saith Yahweh of hosts. You see? So that day of vengeance is coming, man. And if you don't get yourself together, you're going to be part of the ones that's got to get it the hard way. You got to learn death by pain. It says that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Right. Now, this is talking uh, about Esau Edom. But, hey, if you join the hands with him and his wickedness, guess what? You're going to drink that same cup of indignation. OK. So, hey. Repent while the, you know. Gates of repentance is still open, man, for it's too late, okay? Get yourself, get your house, get your affairs in order, man. You got to prioritize. This truth is number one, man, all right? If you ain't living right to the best of your ability up to this truth, you need to live up and get yourself right according to this truth, man, because there's no excuse, all right? The servants are out, okay, while the, time, while the days are still early. Before the days are evil are here, man. The servants are still out doing the work, man. All right. And it would be on your best on your best behalf to take heed, okay? Because like it said, you're not gonna be always mindful of the scorches, but once the word is withdrawn in, then you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. And that's gonna be a hard place to be, all right? So uh that's going to be about it. We're going to wrap it up with that. Ain't going to take too much time. And uh, let's go to 1 Peter 5 and 8 and let's close out.
This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, and verse 8. It reads, be sober, be vigilant, see? And that's what we do, man. We stay ready looking and watching for any type of current events, any type of thing that we can, you know, relate to the flock and, you know, give a heads up and, and show, you know, diligent because we are measuring the times, okay? It says what? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. You see? You know, and if it was up to him, he would leave the shops open all day long. Why? So you can get whatever type of judgment is meant for you. All right. He doesn't care about your uh, your safety, your well-being. All right. As far as he concerned, you can all get uh, sw swept up by the hurricane, tornadoes, earthquakes or whatever that, uh, or whatever else natural disasters. OK, but he really want to preserve you to that uh, end so he could so he could chip you. All right. So that's going to be about it. Not going to make it too long. You know, pray someone was edified through this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We almost home. Shalom. Peace.